Your school, your news. We are LMTV, Linmar Television. Winner of more than a dozen metro and state awards for broadcast excellence. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Wednesday, September 17th, 2008. And here's a look at the stores making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, the presidential election is less than two months away. LMTV's Christine joins us with a special guest. Thanks, Tyler. I'm here to introduce Zach Bohannon. He's a special guest today who's going to talk to you about the new section, Pollsters, coming to LMTV every Monday. Could you explain what exactly Pollsters is, Zach? I would love to, Christine. With just under seven weeks left in the 2008 presidential bid for the White House and the race at almost a dead heat across the country, Pollsters is going to be a straw poll on the current presidential race voted, voted on by none other than the teachers at Linmar. Pollsters is going to be on LMTV every Monday. A straw poll? What exactly is that? A straw poll is an unofficial vote or poll indicating the tread or opinion about a candidate or issue. What will this segment tell the students at Linmar? The new segment will keep the students updated on breaking news throughout the presidential race until the winner is declared and let them know what candidate is favored by the teachers at Linmar. How will the teachers take part in this poll? There will be a sheet in each teacher's mailbox every Thursday and if a teacher doesn't have a mailbox then there will be a pile in the main office with honey soup. The teachers are encouraged to fill out the sheet and return it by Friday, by the end of the day. And Honey Sue will put in a private folder so each sheet can be counted for the Monday segment on LMTV. Why should the teachers take part in this? Teachers should take part in this because the poll, uh, for the poll to be most accurate, the more, more teachers have to uh, take part in it. That sounds very interesting. I can't wait to hear how the first poll results are on Monday. Thanks, Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Back to you, Tyler. In other news, homecoming is just a fortnight away. If you plan on bringing a date to the homecoming dance that does not attend Linmar, the sign-up sheet is now in the main office. The absolute deadline is to sign up is Monday, September 29th. There are restrictions to high school dances, including no middle school students or anyone over age 20. Questions, please ask the main office. Tomorrow is your last chance for getting your school ID photo taken. The photographers will be here from 7.30 to 10 a.m. Bring your unwanted pictures with you if you are getting retakes. If you are just getting them taken, pick up an order form from the main office and bring your payment. Now Alyssa takes a look at sports. On the scoreboard. Linmar Girls Swimming beat Wash 103 to 83 and Tipton 143 to 42. Woo in volleyball, Linmar Girls fell short to Waterloo East three games to one. Tonight in Linmar Sports, JV Reserve Boys Golf will play at Dubuque Bunker Hill at 3:15. Team dismissed at 1:30. Our football Lions face their next challenge tomorrow night. LMTV Sports Director Nick Sawyer has a look at that and stats on last Friday's big win in the Linmar Sports Minute. Our Lions celebrated success with Friday's big 24-6 win over Dubuque Senior. Quarterback Will Roth and company dominated the Rams with over 400 yards of total offense. 302 of those yards came on the ground, led by sophomore Jer Garman, and most of those came in the second quarter, where our guys scored 21 points. At the end of week three, here's a look at the standings. Kennedy is the only metro area team that remains undefeated at 3-0. Others in the top spot include Dubuque, Hempstead, and City High, also unbeaten. There are four teams with one loss. Wash, Prairie, Waterloo West, and Cedar Falls are in that middle pack. Now, Friday night's win moves us up considerably. Other teams with one win and two losses include Xavier, Jeff, and Waller. And at the bottom of the pack are Dubuque Senior, Waterloo East, and Iowa City West. Now, Limar plays again Thursday night against Washington at Kingston. And that one won't necessarily be an easy one, but Wash can definitely be beat. City High proved that earlier this season. I'm Nick Sawyer, LMTV Sports, ready for another win. 
Thanks, Nick. In other sports news, get your teams ready for the 2008 intramural volleyball season. Captains will sign up in the attendance office by next Wednesday. All matches will be played at 7.15 in the main gym. Official rules are posted in the attendance office and gym. See Mr. Loknovich if you have any questions. This is a big weekend for boys soccer players. They have the opportunity to see where they rank among the elite players locally and across the nation. Test your speed, power, agility, reaction, and quickness and see how your Nike Spork soccer rating stacks up. Velocity will provide a free rating to all that attend. Meet this Saturday at the Excelsior Com Soccer Complex at 1 p.m. Bring soccer shoes and regular shoes. See Coach Brinkmeyer to sign up today. That's sports. Back to you, Tyler. Thanks, Alyssa. In news from the counselors, Linmar is hosting a PSAT-SAT seminar Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. To take advantage of this opportunity, go to www.zaps.com or see your counselor. Hurry, enrollment is limited. Tomorrow in homeroom, you will be getting job shadow applications. The deadline to turn in those applications is a week from Friday. In the counseling office, any 10th, 11th, or 12th grader can do two job shadows per year. An architect will be our guest at the next career seminar. It's Tuesday morning at 8 in room 015. Sign up on the morning counseling office window. For more information on these stores, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Chrissy takes a look at your arts and clubs. On the Linmar club scene, is your group planning on being in the homecoming parade this year? Stop by the main office to pick up an application form. They are due to Mr. Schumacher by Monday. Speaking of homecoming, any FFA members who want to help with the homecoming float should see Miss Lummer or Kim Jordan this week. Different parts of the float can be done by an individual or a small group after school, before school, or even at home. This is the last call for FFA members who want to attend the National FFA Convention in Indianapolis in October. There are two spots open for girls, one for a guy. The first to complete their paperwork and turn in their deposit will make the trip. See Ms. Lummer for more details. Math team will hold a practice session after school in room F-157. Also, please let Ms. Masson know tomorrow if you are able to attend the September 27th meet at Jefferson. Linmar Teenage Republicans will meet Friday morning at 8.15 in Mr. Hefley's room F-154. Everyone is welcome to attend. There will be a voice meeting tomorrow before school at 7.45 or after school at 3.15 in Mrs. Ski Long's room, I-218. It's not too late to join voice. That's your club update. Back to you, Tyler. Thanks, Chrissy. Today on Channel One, a look from the economy and how the failure of large financial institutions can affect you. That's today at 3 on LMTV, and tomorrow on LMTV News, we find out what it takes to become a Linmar trap shooter on the Club Connection. Now, Alyssa has your first look at today's lunch. Yes, I do, Tyler. It's turkey tenderloin with a green bean bake, peach slices, and an M&M cookie. The other lines will offer the Sloppy Joe bar, chef salads, pizza, or a la carte items. The food court will open the pasta bar. That's lunch, Tyler. Back to you. LMTV weatherman Alex Starr says get ready for another fantastic day. His forecast calls for sunny skies today with a high of 78. Tonight will be mostly clear with a low of 51 and tomorrow sunny with a high of 76. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Linmar website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Make a great make it a great day, Linmar.